pain gate theory. Gate control theory was a revolutionary theory proposed by Melzack and Wall in 1965. As described in the previous post, the pain travels from the receptors to the pain centers in the brain, uh, mainly in the cortex and thalamus via the spinal cord. This theory proposes that the transmission of the nerve impulses from the afferent nerves to the spinal cord was controlled by the gating mechanism present at the spinal cord. This pain, therefore, could be modulated at the dorsal root ganglion of the spinal cord via a gating mechanism which was influenced by high speed large diameter touch fibers. Speed of the pain fiber transmission is much slower compared to the transmission of touch. Therefore, stimulation of these high speed touch fibers would effectively block the transmission of pain and thereby help to promote pain relief. This was great because it opened a new avenue of the benefits of physiotherapy in pain management and it also introduced the use of TENS machine for pain relief. This gating was also influenced by the descending pathway arising from the brain. Therefore, psychological factors now were considered for pain relief, bringing up the science of uh, neuropsychology for pain management. And it was, and for the first time, psychology was not dismissed as a reaction to pain. This research paper is regarded as the most important research paper in this century in pain science. However, it failed to explain chronic pain or phantom link pain. Melzack felt that it was again very simplistic and lacked many behavioral and neurological factors. Thank you.